Hi, welcome to Uncle Tim's farm. I'm Uncle Tim and today I'm going to show you how I built this barrel tumbler that I used to make my T13 seasoning in 40 pound batches. So right here I'm working on the base and the two flat spots on top there are going to be for the pillow block bearings and you'll see that here in just a few minutes. Here are the pillow block bearings I was talking about earlier, and I'm just marking where I'm going to drill the holes. Okay, here I'm building the, I don't know what you would call it, the basket, I guess, that's going to hold the barrel and be the part that actually tumbles. And I'm welding on one of the axles. Now I'm getting the other axles squared up so that I can get it welded on and as you see I have a nice sturdy base to work with. Here I'm continuing to work on the basket by adding sides to it so that the barrel will be held in place and won't fall out the sides. Now I'm just doing a real quick balance test. Alright, I'm going to be putting the uprights on the sides here and I'm using my fireball tool square to try to make sure everything is straight and square. It takes me a little bit to get this all put together but eventually I get it squared away and it works quite well. Now that I've got both sides welded on, I'm just doing a real quick test fit to make sure everything's going to work as it should. Okay, now I'm welding on the top bar hinges. This is going to be where I'll open it up and be able to put the barrel in and then latch it down. I'm welding an end cap on this tube so that I can attach part of the latch to it. You'll see that in a few minutes. Then 
This is the part of the latch that I was talking about, and you'll see how it all goes together shortly. And now I'm attaching the bottom part of the latch. I'll zoom in here and give you a little bit closer look so you can see how it works. I'm adding cross members to the top and they'll have little flanges that hang down to keep the sides from bowing out while in operation. These are the flanges I mentioned earlier. This is just to keep those uprights from bowing out at the top once it's loaded and tumbling around. Here I'm working on the base, getting it nice and square and secured together so that it doesn't flop around. Now it's time to put this together and see how it works. Looks like it's working pretty well. I'll grab the barrel here in a minute and give it another test. I have some pads that I'll be adding to this later to keep it from slopping around like that inside there. So here you can see I've added the sprocket onto the side and then I've also added a counterweight on the bottom so that it, when it stops spinning it will stop with the bottom on the bottom and the top on the top so that it can load the barrel. Before with the extra hardware on top with the latch it was stopping with the top on the bottom. Another quick test run. Here I'm welding a little axle together that will screw on to the windshield wiper motor to help turn this thing. And now it's time to test it with the motor just, I'm just holding it just to make sure that it will actually turn this thing. So now I'm welding on the motor mount that's adjustable so that I can keep the chain tight. And what I found out 
After getting this all put together and actually putting some weight in the barrel is that this windshield wiper motor was way, way underpowered. It turns this empty or even with the empty barrel in it just fine, but once I put 40 pounds of seasonings in the barrel, it wouldn't budget. So I ended up having to order a much larger motor and as you can see here, this is a two horsepower motor and this is just a, a quick test to make sure it will actually work. I just have it cobbled into place and it does have seasoning in it and it is plenty powerful enough to make it work. Once I verified that that motor was going to work, I went ahead and built a motor mount for it, got everything lined up, and then went ahead and painted it, as you can see here. Time for the first test run with it all put together. And it works like a champ. And there is seasoning in that barrel. That's an 18 gallon barrel. and. I have, it's not a full 40 pounds because I've pulled some out of there to use, but it does have quite a bit of weight in it, and this two horsepower motor will have no problems. I'll do another video here in the near future of me actually mixing up a whole batch of seasoning. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.